Hi, and welcome back to Molly O Designs. One of the first questions we get when people are learning about stamp jewelry is how do they determine what size disc to use in their design? The answer is simple. We're going to design on paper. So go ahead and print off our file that we have located on this page that'll give you all the different options for disc, and we're going to learn how to design and stamp right into the paper before you get started. Designing on paper is the perfect way to make sure the discs you have chosen is going to fit the design that you have in mind. So what you're going to do is take your disc on a piece of paper, always working on a craft mat. I can't stress this enough. If you don't have a good quality craft mats, we carry them on our website. This is going to protect your table or whatever you're working on. All you're going to do is lay your paper down and trace your disc onto the paper. Now keep in mind, your tracing is just going to be slightly larger than the actual disc. So when you're planning your design, if your design just fits within this drawing, chances are it's not going to fit on your disc and you're going to want to go the next size larger. So all we're going to do is with our drawing of our disc, we're going to take our stamps and we are actually just going to stamp right into the paper. We're going to lay out our entire design all the way around. Make sure we absolutely love it before we start stamping on our disc. The cost of silver right now is so expensive that you don't want to take the chance of stamping on your silver disc only to find out that the letter or the word or the name you're using isn't going to fit. So this is a great way to plan that out. The other thing you can use the paper for is making sure your letters are going the right direction before you stamp into the desk. So when you have your design, you're ready to get started. What you want to do is pull out your stamp, stamp right into the paper. If it's going the right direction, go straight over to your desk and go ahead and stamp. This is going to make sure it's going straight up and down. I've had a lot of customers over the years stamp upside down or sideways, um, and it seems like it always happens on their very last letter. So what you can do is stamp into the paper first and then transfer right over your, to your desk to avoid making that mistake. If you do make that mistake, there's some ways that we can fix it up and we'll talk about that in another video. But once again, all I can say is plan, plan, plan. Use your paper and create your design so that your end product is beautiful and stunning.